Hello, Angelique Wiley, business consultant here, giving you another awesome video. Uh, today we are going to be talking about overcommitment. And of course, we all know what that is because we all have way too much on our plates. We only have a 24-hour day, seven days a week to fit in absolutely everything that we need to get done. Just think about it. Work, our jobs, our jobs take up so much time. Our, the causes that we care about, um, whether it's volunteering or working at the school or working at the church, uh, things that you have going on at home, and we all have busy families, children, uh, spending time in the community, networking, being with your friends, being with family. We are all so overcommitted. We're all taking on so many projects too. And it doesn't just have to be projects at work, it can be projects at home projects that you're working on for a church or for a friend or helping with a, a garage sale or a bake sale or something that's going on. Uh, having to spend time with your kids, trying to get them into college, trying to get them registered for school, helping them with their homework. There's just so much to be done and so little time. We're all overcommitted. Um, and, and this comes from us when we're and when we're little we're taught to do everything and say yes to everything and be all that you can be and challenge yourself and and so we learn that from an early age it's normal it's it's nature it's human nature um, but it really it really is comes from poor limit setting I mean really we have trouble setting uh, boundaries on our behavior and you know what it what it really stems from is do we have clear goals for our life do we really know what our clear path is in life and and until you understand what your path is you just continue to say yes to everything because you think that it's getting you closer to your path and uh, what once you really sit down and you write out what your goals are and what your path is then what you should be doing is finding projects and filling your time with things that fit with your goals and fit with your path so here's some things that we can do to stop being so overcommitted uh, just to kind of help everybody out first of all let others at work or where you are at learn how to do things for themselves and 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 how to fix things for themselves so like at work you know you're let's just say that you are a manager at work and you know everything about how to fix the computer system it's a okay to train an employee how to do that and then they can be the go-to person for that you don't always have to be the mr or mrs fix it you know what i mean let other people learn in it and that helps in the employee's development anyway so you want to you want to do that um number two practice saying no 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 um you know it's okay to say no to your boss about taking on a project as long as you have a way to explain why you're saying no, um, negotiate, negotiate the no. Um, I, I'm busy this week, but maybe I could do it in three weeks because when I look at my schedule, I'll be done with this project and will, would that do? Um, because so you can you can negotiate it with it or a church has asked you to work the next six Sundays in a row volunteering or being an usher and negotiate that well you know I can do maybe two weeks of that but I can't do all six and and they'll find they'll be fine they'll find someone else to do the other four weeks I, I promise you they will find other people um, but practice saying no or practice negotiating uh, the terms of it because you can't you can't do everything you're gonna get burnt out you're gonna have a heart attack it's not good for your health it's not good for stress you gain weight with stress it just overall is not good to overcommit but the last thing I will tell you is that you need to set clear goals for your life. And I'm not just talking about goals at work. We all, a lot of us have goals at work because our bosses write them for us or we've written them because the companies wanted us to write them for ourselves. Um, stay to your goals in life. What is your goal in life? I have children, buy a house, be retired by the age of 65, get on Medicare. But that those are goals but that is that your path 
I mean, is there something that you've just inspired to do? I want to go traveling by the time I turn 60 and I want to travel the world. And then stay committed to those priorities and goals. So if I take on a project for the PTA or for school or um, for this and that, does that fit into what you're working on for your goals? Let's just say when you retire at the age of 55, you want to be a photographer. But you are taking on so many other things that you can't even take have time to take a photography class. Is that fitting in with your goals for your future? No. So stay committed to your commitments and your priorities that fit in with your future goals only. And everything else is just, oh, if you have time to do it, do it. But don't overcommit on those items that don't don't go with your goals. Um, so it's really something to think about. And you know what? It's good to get a journal. I have a weekly scheduler that I write down everything that I do for the day. And I can see this a year out of what I'm working on and what my priorities are. Write it down. Do checklists. Do keep a keep a planner. Uh, keep a calendar on your computer. Uh, and always know when you have free time, when you don't, and then kind of squeeze in things as you can. But always make time to have time for yourself to relax, de-stress at the end of the day or during the middle of the day. Get up and walk away from your desk, get some exercise, eat lunch away from your desk. Stop over committing people. We're all doing it, but we need to t take a step back and relax and think about ourselves and think about our futures because you're not doing anybody any justice by being way over committed because you're not going to be doing 100% on all your products you have going on. You're not going to give it 100% and you're not doing yourself any justice because you're hurting yourself. You're stressing yourself out. You're not going to be healthy and it could lead to stroke or heart attack and you want to live a long life. And, and you want it to be peaceful and you want it to be happy. So do what you can. Stop over committing. That's my tip for today. Have a good one.